Moving on? Yeah. I mean, yeah. speaking of packages, should I do this? Speaking thing of now? packages at FedEx, Ooh, it's actually USPS oh, Postal Service. United States Postal Service. We got an unboxing for you today. Yeah. Um, so it's something I've been talking about with Rick for a while, and now that he has uh, the Elgato and streaming solution stuff like that, because I don't have a computer that can do that. And uh, mine does it pretty well. Yeah, and yours does it actually really well. So. I got really excited because I have an original Xbox. It's the Halo themed Xbox. And I have an Xbox 360 and I have a PS3. And on PS3 you can play PS1 games and original Xbox Xbox, Xbox games obviously and, and 360 and so forth. And I was like, dude, I want you to play Halo. You've never played Halo. Yeah, I've never had I have Halo 1 and 2 on the original Xbox. I also have the remaster of Halo 1 for 360. Which might be the way we go with Halo 1 because you can flip the graphics at with the graphics? Yeah, you can Mirror go... Mirror it, basically? No, or? no. So, like, it's got the original graphics on it. So you, uh, hit, a, you hit a button, and it uh, whoop, flips to the old one, so you can see what it looked it like. It used to look like. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, anyway. Long story short, you guys know I always talk about... I talk about skateboarding a lot here. Rick and I have talked about the Tony Hawk games in the past here, and how important they were to us growing up. Yeah. I have Tony Hawk 1 and 2, which we're totally going to play and stream sometime soon. I have those for the PS1, so we'll play them on my PS3. And I don't have an active or working PS2 or a PS3 with a PS2 backwards compatibility. But I what gave I, away mine. But what I do have totally regret is that. an original <laughs> Xbox. And on the original Xbox, I can play these games. Or on a 360, these are all backwards compatible. So I have one and two for PlayStation. And what I did was I got on eBay. Did you get a, t a lot of them? Oh my god. And I got... Let's see here. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Cool. And so I haven't opened these. So I don't. I haven't seen how they look. So let's do a little inspection. How does okay. it look? Not too bad? Not bad, not bad. Okay. They say, it's, a, it's a used game wholesaler off eBay. They guarantee their discs to work. You have 30 days to return them if they don't. Three. It's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Boom. Okay. And I've got to put it back in here so I don't pull focus for anything else. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. All right. I okay. played I played 4. 4? I never finished it. I just played it. Oh, this one has the booklet. Oh, cool. Fuck yeah. Awesome. But it's the Platinum Hits version of the game, which is pretty funny. I was like they're... Uh... Yeah. Like okay, that's not bad. I, I can clean these. There's some fingerprints on it, but they look okay. And again, like I said, the person who sold this, I emailed already and gone back and forth with. They guarantee them to work. Tony Hawk's Underground, which was the fifth game that came out. Yeah. Uh, well, this is like, where that they... That was the last one I kind of played with and kind of put down after that. This is, the, this is the year... So Tony Hawk 4 was the first year they changed the format. And it wasn't you have two minutes to attack these goals. It was, here's an open worldish kind of level. There's quests to pick up from skaters. There's new things. They made them bigger. Um, so, yeah. Oh, Underground's got the booklet, too. Wow. Look at that, dude. Oh, and it's the original printing. It's the original pressing of the, the disc. Cool. Yeah, so it's not a platinum hit. Uh, booklet's in good condition. Damn, I'm going to have to buy from these people more often. Yeah, that's... And disc is a little dirty. And been buffed, obviously, been, oh, yeah, exactly. but it's, again, <laughs> but it's they're, guaranteed. they're guaranteed, so, uh, the box is a little bit busted, but that's okay, I don't mind that. It's just a box. What's in the, it's just a box, is that, from, just a box. No, what's get. in, no, oh. just a box. Oh. <laughs> uh, and Tony Hawk's Underground 2. So this is the last of the PS2 Xbox generation of games. Well, not the last, but right. American Wasteland was also a PS2 and uh, original Xbox game, but it also came out on the 360. It was the first one to come out on the 360. Also, mm -hmm. original, the original disc. printing. Yeah, yeah. these all have been cleaned and buffed, so that's fine. That's cool. All right, so we will be getting into these. And as soon as tomorrow? Uh, maybe, I think so. But that'll yeah. work Monday, so tomorrow would be a prime day. Okay, so yeah, we've got four Tony Hawk games for the original Xbox to go through, plus the first two on PS, PS1, and uh, I will get my plan. I had all these games on PS2 back in the day. I had, um, when I got my PS2, I kept my Tony Hawk 1 and Tony Hawk 2, and I bought, I got 3, 4, Underground, Underground 2. 
And then I actually got American Wasteland. I rented it. It was the fir- American mm-hmm. Wasteland was the first Tony Hawk game I didn't buy the day it came out. Um, I think I got that one off of Blockbuster or something, probably. Probably. Because that was 2005 ish. Perhaps. Uh, yeah, 2005. Um, Oh man, they did a good job of packing them. They had bubble wrap really in between each What's thing. What's the name of the company? Uh, it was it's it's like a personal seller name. Oh, it's a personal yeah. seller. Okay, oh, that's like a company person. No, uh, but yeah, it was really cool talking to this person through the messaging system on eBay. And they're like, yeah, don't worry about it. If you have any issues, let us know. Send them back. Um, but yeah, man, I'm super excited to get into those games because yeah, it's been I'm, so long. I'm one of those weirdos that likes all of the Tony Hawk games except. For HD, which sucked, and Tony Hawk Five sucked. I never got to play Ride or Shred. That was the one with the peripheral, the peripheral board. Peripheral board, yeah. Um, that just. But I know. Silly. I know kids really liked those games. Adults didn't because it wasn't the Tony Hawk they wanted. But I know kids really liked those games. Um, but yeah, man, I'm really excited to play through these games and to get you to play through Halo One and Halo Two. I have all I'm the way really up to Halo Four. To Halo, especially after what you told me with Destiny. Yeah. I have up to so, Halo 1, Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo 4. I also have Halo ODST, which is a single-player game, so that we won't be able to do. The only Xbox 360-era Halo game I don't own is uh, Halo Reach, which I actually haven't played because it's not a Master Chief story. Um, and there is ODST, really, but it's a fun-ass game. Um, but yeah, man, I'm really excited to play through these games. I love the Tony Hawk franchise, uh, and... I wish, wish that 5 was good, but 5 was just terrible, mm. man. Terrible. Uh, but yeah, so I plan on getting American Wasteland for 360 so, and Project 8 <sighs> and Proving Ground. Because Proving Ground was the last one that came out on PS3. Was that the, the one where they tried to make it full price and it wasn't really full no, price? No, 5 was the one. Total oh, Hawk okay. 5. So Proving Ground was the one that came out in 2000, uh, let's see, 5, 6... Seven, two thousand seven. Okay. Um, I think I even remember. Hearing it's about it that was one. fine. It was fine. They just added so much to Proving Ground. Um, but yeah, I really liked American Wasteland. It had a cool story. It came out around the same time that Dogtown and Z Boys and Lords of Dogtown were really popular. Right. So it had a lot of old school skating stuff in it, uh, which was really cool. And Project Eight was cool because it was it was like a, a neighborhood, like a city. So you had your neighborhood. You had high school, you had like parks, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I think it, all this stuff. And the whole point of Project 8 was to... You played it with me because I, I had yeah, it on 360. Yeah. That's right. The whole point of Project 8 was to become the best skater in this That's town right. to go yeah. on tour with Tony Hawk. I remember that one. Uh, and that yeah. game's pretty fun too. <laughs> and yeah, then Proving Ground just did not feel good. Proving Ground came out after the original Skate. And once Skate came out, that, that changed, changed the game man, big time. But yeah. Uh, I also have all three skate games that we can stream at some point. Uh, but yeah, man, I kept a lot of my PS3 era games because I kept my PS3. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go through those games and we're going to do a lot more uh, with this channel, hopefully. Yeah. Coming uh, soon. Yeah, definitely try to stream a lot more, yeah. hopefully on a weekly basis. And hopefully if I get that job close to home, that could actually happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to playing all of those games, especially Halo for someone who's never played it. Yeah. Um, like you know, I said, I've only played it once, and that was the like the land party type of play. So fun. <laughs> and That's that so was a lot of fun. fun. And then I played it. No, actually, oh, I lied. I played it twice. They did it that way. That version. Mm-hmm. Um, it was actually a friend of Michael's that, oh, yeah? that had that land party going okay. on. Um, and then I played it again uh, online. I played the on like on a little bit of online when it was you know first online. Yeah, Halo Two, and uh, that was interesting. <laughs> um, real quick thing about Halo. So, um, my buddy Lawrence, who I was talking about earlier, right? Um, his friends who became my friends Joe and Jason. Uh, we would all go hang out at Joe's house, and I would take my Xbox, and we would plug it into Joe's fucking nineteen-inch TV. <laughs> and we would play four player split screen on a 19 inch TV <laughs> for all day like I would go over there and we would we would be there from like 10 in the morning to like midnight just playing Halo Ooh. Yummy oh, Demon nice. is now following us cool Sweet. thanks um, 
But yeah, like I, uh, I we used to go over there and play that, and then I was the first one to get a an X an Xbox three sixty. So I would take my three sixty over to his house to the point where for Christmas one year, they got me a backpack for like one of those gaming backpacks. Just like put your console and your controllers and everything in here. They got me one for when I take the console over to Joe's house. That's funny. Because we would go hang out like at least three or four times a month. Like once a weekend, we would go over there and just hang out and play video games and talk and have a good ass time. Right. Yeah. And yeah. And that's yeah. That's how it was with uh, the sixty four. Yeah. Um, yeah. Neighbors around here had one, and uh, I mean, with the sixty four, I guess it was a little different because it had four port controls. Yeah. But like we would play GoldenEye and. Um, Star Fox. Yeah. And just spend hours doing that. Me and my friends would do that. Yeah, it's crazy um, to think, man. That was like 2003, 2004. When I got married in 2004. Then now it's, you know, been 15 years that, I know, that I've known Joe. And now I'm married and have two kids. Joe's married and he has a daughter. Like, it's, it's insane, man, to think how much time has gone by. Yami yeah, says, uh, Halo CE was always the master of all the party games. Oh, so good. It's so good. Uh, this is, I don't know what's CE. Uh, that, combat that, Evolved. That's no. Evolved. Okay. Halo, Halo Combat Evolved was the name of the, the okay. game. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you caught it earlier. I'm new to the... Like, I've, He's never, I've played, never played, Halo, played Halo. So I'm going to bring... So we're going to actually stream that probably either tomorrow maybe yeah. or... We can do a little soon. bit tomorrow. Yeah. I'll, I'll take it easy on you. We won't do it on Heroic. We'll do it on... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what we used to... Like, okay, so then in Halo 2 it had co-op play. So me and Lawrence would run through that campaign on Heroic like like that because we played so much. Damn. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. Really good stuff. So yeah, we got Halo games. We got a bunch of Tony Hawk games. I have Silent Hill, the original Silent Hill on PS1 Ooh, so we can play through that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, it's uh, definitely going to be fun to go through these old games and kind of relive memories because I haven't played these Tony Hawk games in a very long time. 